Volvo Cars now introduces yet another car of the future as an important part of the company's environmental concentration. This is the Volvo Recharge concept. A rechargeable electric car with a very high charge capacity that can also be charged during the journey by means of its flexi-fuel engine. This is a different kind of hybrid than what we're normally used to. It has an engine but it does not have any shaft between the engine and the wheels. Though actually the wheels are driven by motors in the wheels themselves, inside the tires. And so you have four motors driving four wheels. It's, a, it's called something called a series hybrid with wheel motors. This is a car of the future with many smart solutions. That is a very unique and actually a big improvement in car design because it allows us to have a lot of flexibility and also improvements in terms of safety. Because now we've moved the motors to the wheels, we get much more uh, crash protection in the front of the car that wouldn't be otherwise possible. Um, it also has a lot of interesting things like allows us to independently control the wheels and also uh, get much better efficiency because we eliminated the transmission that takes away about 10% of uh, energy out of most cars today. What is unusual about this car is the fact that it is driven by four wheel motors directly from the battery and it is possible to drive 100 kilometers without recharging the battery. This means that 80% of all cars in the USA could be driven in an environment-friendly way without petrol. This car is designed to uh, operate up to 100 kilometers on batteries alone, which means that you could charge the car during the uh, nighttime hours when the electricity is cheap and mainly on uh, renewable electricity, so that the, uh, you're mainly paying uh, uh, for the, uh, electricity prices you know, to drive this car. In the United States, that comes out to about three cents per mile, as opposed to even with cheap gasoline in the United States, where it, um, there it's about 13 cents a mile if you were running this on the petrol. For Volvo cars, this concept car is a vitally important step forward. But the big question that many people are asking themselves is if and when the car will be in production. That's something that I can't say right now, and uh, some of it's going to depend on how well our suppliers uh, meet the uh, time targets. But it looks like we'll be looking at something like this in, uh, after 2015 uh, on the commonly uh, seen on the roads. But uh, it's very hard to say right now. Uh, so I could safely say that this will not be you know, the first kind of hybrid that we'll put out. We'll keep that a secret until later.